Hi everybody, back again with another video. This time it's the Wolf Predator 2.0 from Hot Toys. And I can safely say, having had every single Predator apart from one that Hot Toys has released, and that was the Anycom um, exclusive Scar Predator from a long, long time ago now. That's the only one I haven't owned. Um, this is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best, Predator that has been released. It's a phenomenal looking figure. The paintwork is top notch. The proportions, very close to the how they are in the movie because he's quite slim. Accessory wise, he comes with quite a lot of stuff. Um, the original release that Hot Toys did, um, you had two versions. You had the cleaner kit version, which had lots of extra accessories, and then you just had the normal version. But this is basically those two figures in one. And it is a beauty. So we'll take a close look in at the face. Hopefully it will stay focused. Just look at the detail on that. Okay, yes, you can probably see a little bit of the um, join there where the mandibles go on. But I think if you just manipulate it a little bit, it will hide it up a lot more. You can see there's life in those eyes. I love the paintwork on this. Unlike the um, Elder Predator, which was the last one that Hot Toys released, um, the, the face paintwork wasn't very good. But just throughout this whole figure, it is really nice. He comes with a lot of accessories. I'll show you some that are on the figure already. I'm not going to take them all out. You've probably seen them all before. But here you've got his little cleaning vial cleaning up his mess he's got the closed shuriken there all the armor pieces are already on the figure moving on down you've got the mask here with the pipes already attached I was thinking about showing him with the mask, but the face sculpt is just so damn good. You've got to see it. It's got the base that you've seen before. This is very similar to the cleaner kit version that came out. Um, the paint works a little bit shoddy on the base for this one, though, I find. Just moving around to the side. Hopefully the camera will focus. There we go. Now you can see the join there, but I haven't pushed it in tight enough. Um, you can push it in a bit tighter. Great dreads. All the necklaces. You can see his mines that he's got on his bandolero or whatever they call that going around his chest. You can see on his wrists there. He's got two metal spikes he also comes with um if i just move you over two longer ones if you wish to put them in and these are metal hands wise he's only got um three hands from what i can see he's got the actually he's got four hands sorry i can't find the fourth one at the moment i've dropped it but he's got two fisted hands and two open or gripping hands for gripping the weapons. And you can see here, he has the um, extendable whip, which is poseable because it is rubber. He also comes, <clears throat> if you didn't wish to show him holding it, a closed one with a little hook there that you just place onto his belt. And he comes with the open shuriken. This is plastic. He also comes with a, a separate gun that you can hold if you didn't want to put the two um, plasma guns on his shoulder. The difference I find with this from um, the original release is that the original release, this bit actually moved backwards and forwards, but it doesn't on this one, which I found a bit strange. But sculpting-wise and paint-wise, it is 
miles better than the original version. Before we come to his cannons, I'm moving around to this side so you can take a look at his gauntlet. As with all predators, this does open up to show you what is inside. There we go. Better paint decals than what you saw in the original again. He does have the extendable spear, as all most predators have. Move on up this side so you can have a good look at the cannon. This cannon I found is a little bit loose. It does move about a bit, but um, it seems to stay where it is. Round to the back. you got his medikit here, which does keep falling off, I find. Um, it's very hard to sort of keep on. Inside there is little... Um, Got small little accessories for fixing himself up when he gets injured. It does all open up. Um, if you want to see that, check out some other people's videos on that. Um, I don't want to go messing about with it. This is like a, um, a hardish type plastic on here. I think the um, the original versions, which you had to put together yourself, it was actual cloth. There's another look at the base. Camera seats get, keeps going out of focus for some reason. Now, this cannon here, you have to put on. Um, people have had problems with this. It doesn't fit. Mine fitted fine. I don't know whether it's because this is a second batch and they adjusted it slightly. But I found um, you have to take this shoulder pad off. And it's got two little clips there. You have to take that off to put this on. Now the way I did it is I actually placed it over the top of where it's supposed to go. And I just pressed down fairly firmly. But I slightly moved it from side to side. And it just clicked in without any problem whatsoever. And it is in there solid. It's more solid. And stable than the actual cannon that comes on the figure so I say whether that's because this is a second batch and they've slightly cut it maybe a little bit differently but I haven't had any issues whatsoever with doing that see he's got some slight sort of scarring on his shoulder as well but it is an absolutely awesome figure. Um, I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm really hoping, so fingers crossed still, for a um, Chopper 2.0 to come out. Um, if you've seen my previous video, you've seen that I've done a kit bash one uh, based on the Celtic Predator body. But I'm really hoping that Hot Toys do release it. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to release the Predators from the latest movie, The Predator. Um, we've seen a prototype of it at San Diego Comic Con and various other shows last year but there's been absolutely no word on that yet no pre-orders gone up so I'm doubting if that figure is actually going to be made because um, the, the film didn't do very well so we'll have to wait and see I hope they do because I want to add that and the large Predator to my collection if they do decide to do him as well uh, maybe they'll release him as a two pack we, we'll wait to see but I think uh, Endgame is taking up all their time at the moment. But yeah, there you go. There's Wolf Predator. Uh, just a quick look around the figure. Um, if you want to see a more in-depth look on this figure with the accessories all open, then feel free to let me know and I might be able to do one for you. But I just wanted to show you my latest figure. So until my next video, as always, thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon.